Thanks everyone. My name is Blake Burton and I'm the Managing Director of DC2. So just a bit of a disclaimer for everyone to read prior to the presentation. So a bit about DC2. Uh, we're a vertically integrated provider of data center and cloud services. In the last 18 months, we bought three data centers online. Uh, the first and biggest being our Bibber Lake data center. Uh, Bibber Lake's a southern suburb of Perth, uh, and it's right on the doorstep of the Henderson Marine Park. It's a massive industrial uh, complex south of Perth, and we're actually the closest data center to that area. So our Bibber Lake facility, a few months ago, we got our tier three design accreditation, uh, and it's a really important accreditation for us to have. Essentially, an, up, an independent institute, the Uptime Institute, uh, they come through, they review your data center, and with a tier three accreditation, uh, they certify that we can keep our data, our customers' data online 99.982% of the time. And it is really, really important for us to have because tier three is the minimum accreditation that we need to host customers' equipment for large uh, enterprise customers, government contracts. Uh, so it really does underpin that future growth for us. Separately, we have our regional modular data centers. Uh, so these are just containerized modular data centers that we put directly on uh, renewable energy sites. The first site for us was our Midwest, Midwest site. So it was in the Midwest of Western Australia, directly on a wind farm, two megawatts of capacity. That's fully operational. That's online, that's revenue generating. More recently, just a few months ago, we brought online our Victoria data center site. So that's on a biogas site. It's 100% renewable energy, so strong ESG credentials. Our Midwest site is on a wind farm. Uh, so Majority of it is renewable energy, but when the wind's not blowing, we do have to go onto the grid for backup power. So our Victoria site, we got really excited about because it is 100% renewable. So that came online in August of 2022, uh, initial 800 kilowatts of capacity. Uh, majority of that, uh, just under 800 kilowatts, we've actually already signed up a customer contract. Uh, it's around a million dollars a year. Uh, so they're online. We're in the process of bringing online all their equipment. So majority of it is online now. Um, and what we also have done separately is we build these modular data centers, we sell them to customers. This particular site, this energy provider, we built them a modular data center, so that's online on their site. And we're in the final stages of negotiating with them, uh, actually getting 400 kilowatts of capacity from their modular data center, which we can then on sell to our customers. So that'll bring that site up from 800 kilowatts to 1.2 megawatts. Lastly, we have our DC2 cloud platform. So this is a sovereign cloud platform. And what I mean by that is it it's hosted right here in Australia, but we're also an Australian company, so we're only subject to Australian laws. Uh, your hyperscalers, the big cloud providers like AWS, Microsoft, Azure, yes, you can have your data hosted here in Australia, but you are subject to foreign laws to those uh, foreign political jurisdictions. For us, our competitive advantage is, is it's purely Australian. Now that's online here in Perth at our Bibber Lake data center, but we've also set up a point of presence up in Darwin, which we're currently expanding. So we've got the two locations for that cloud platform. Uh, another competitive advantage for us is that we have a, what we call a hybrid or what everyone calls a hybrid cloud solution offering. And what I mean by that is typically a customer would go to Azure or AWS for cloud services. They might go to Next DC for data center services. We can offer a customer both. If a customer comes to us and says, I've got my own kit, which I want to manage myself, or it's an old system, so I can't yet convert it to the cloud. We can offer them those co-location services. We'll also saying that we can offer you these cloud services as well. It's a hybrid solution. And over time, if they want to convert that all to the cloud, we can do that. Or if they want to keep that hybrid cloud offering, we can continue to do that as well. Where other providers, you'd have to go to this provider for cloud services, that provider for co-location services, we can offer them everything. We've had that consistent uh, revenue growth. So we've had six quarters of recurring revenue growth, which is really exciting. What you'll see here is there has been some one-off revenue. Like I mentioned before, we sell modular data centers. Uh, we also sell things like phone systems or services, uh, service, sorry, we'll take any money that comes our way. But our focus really is on growing that recurring revenue, having that consistent revenue coming in month on month. Now I stepped up as managing director of DC2 in July 1st of this year. Uh, and over the last quarter, what we've really been focusing on is restructuring the team. Uh, we had some staff redundancies, uh, some existing staff. We've actually changed their role within the business. We've created a real clear uh, line of reporting, real clear distinction there. Uh, so there's a full restructure. We also went to certain suppliers, uh, renegotiated contracts with them. So the exact same service, we said we want a better price for what we're paying for. They've given us that uh, price reduction. The end result is we've cut out about half a million dollars a year from the business. 
Our previous MD, Justin Thomas, he's now our CTO. Uh, he had some performance shares along with our operations manager. We've mutually agreed to cancel those performance shares as well. So there's less dilution for shareholders. We uh, brought in an employee share plan. We think our share price at the moment is great value and we want to incentivize employees to get that moving in the right direction. Like I mentioned, Vibra Lake, that's now tier three design accredited. The next stage is to get that tier three construction accredited. Uh, we've commissioned our Victoria data center. And I haven't mentioned this one, but we do have a little tier two data center in Osborne Park. Uh, tier two data centers are going out of fashion. Uh, so we've decided that we're gonna shut down that data center. All services, we're moving them across to Bribble Lake. Then we'll shut down that data center. End result is there'll be more cost savings. So why invest in DC2? Recurring revenue, it's, it's a nice model to have. You have that consistent revenue coming in month on month. We recently completed a capital raising. So we did a $1 million placement. Uh, we're also doing a $1 million, uh, up to $1 million SPP for existing shareholders as well. So we're really well funded for that next stage of growth. We've just completed a restructure internally as well. We've got the right people in the right positions. All our data centers, we spent millions of dollars over the last couple of years bringing these data centers online. So they're now online. The next phase is to get them utilized, to get customers in and get that recurring revenue growth. We've got a strong pipeline of sales. Uh, so the idea is there, the guys are out, they're on the street, they're, uh, they're quoting jobs. It's now just a matter of converting them. Uh, we're looking at offering additional, well, we are starting to offer additional services as well. Traditionally, we've offered data center services, cloud services, just infrastructure, but we've had customers coming to us saying, can you offer me an MBN service, a direct link from your data center to my office? Can you offer me voice solutions? Can you offer me professional services, management, cybersecurity? And traditionally we haven't offered these services, but now we're starting to do that. We're starting to increase our product suite and offer these services that customers are asking for. As part of that as well, we're actually uh, investigating potential acquisitions. So acquisitions of complementary businesses, services that we want to offer our customers that our customers are asking us for anyway. We want to acquire companies with those complementary uh, product offerings so we can get that revenue coming in much quicker, but then also offer those services to our existing customer base. As part of our strategy, we're going to look at expanding into other states. We're already in Perth. We really want to start ramping up Darwin. We want to expand into the smaller states, uh, Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney. Everyone does like these big states or these big cities, these big markets, but they're also highly competitive. What we've decided is uh, cities and states like Darwin, uh, South Australia, Tasmania, there's still millions of dollars to be made in these states. Uh, so we're looking at expanding into these states either organically or through acquisition. Lastly, I'll mention that we've reviewed all of our assets as well, and there are some that we've identified as non-core. Uh, it's still very early stages, so there's a disclaimer there, but we're looking at selling some of these non-core assets as well to further bolster our balance sheet, get more cash in the bank so we can execute on the strategy that I just mentioned. So like I mentioned, my name is Blake Burton. My email address is on this slide. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.